Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Mainstream media in its death throes as Aussie PM exposes fake news on Trump. It's crystal clear now, for all to see, how the mainstream media operates. From the sources inside references, which almost always remain unnamed, to the provocative slant it chooses to use when covering any story involving President Donald Trump. While there is certainly no shortage of reasons to disagree with Trump, the mainstream media has flooded the infosphere with so much fake news, that reality and truth are nearly extinct. Take, for instance, the telephone conversation Trump had on Saturday the 28th of January, with Australian Malcolm Turnbull. Starting with the piece by Greg Miller and Philip Rucker, a slurry of negative words describing Trump's behavior while on the phone call with Turnbull. Trump's behavior was described as having blasted the PM, and Trump reportedly boasted about his win over Hillary Clinton. Later, the two writers stated Trump called the conversation the worst he'd had with other world leaders and said it was the worst deal for the U.S. which reportedly involved the resettling of over 1,200 more refugees from Australia. Breaking with journalistic optimism, the pair of Washington reporters wrote, the characterizations provide insight into Trump's temperament and approach to the diplomatic requirements of his job as the nation's chief executive, a role in which he continues to employ both the uncompromising negotiating tactics he honed as a real estate developer and the bombastic style he exhibited as a reality television personality. After Miller and Rucker's story was published, the rest of the mainstream media seemed to jump onto the bandwagon which attempted to portray the sitting U.S. president as a type of crybaby, someone who cannot control his emotions, actions, or words and as an individual which is severely difficult to work with. The story may have been intentionally twisted as it began to take on a whole new meaning. The Independent ran the storyline, the deeper reason we should be worried Donald Trump hung up on Australia PM turned bull. The obvious fear tactics appear to be working. There's still ongoing political unrest from the left, with even one comedian and actress, Sarah Silverman calling for an overthrow of the democratically elected Trump. CNBC ran a similar story entitled In Phone Call with Australia PM, Trump berates and then hangs up on him, Washington Post. Note the word choice of berates, a negative connotation is implied in the word choice, further alienating the American people from any sense of trust in Trump's judgment. While we here at the Free Thought Project are an apolitical association of independent journalists, ex-military, scientists, and the like, we are dedicated to exposing the truth. And in the case of Trump's reported berating of the Australian Prime Minister Turnbull, leading to a heated exchange that led the US President to hang up on another world leader, the truth is it never happened. Turnbull, in an interview with an Australian radio station, described the phone call. I had a call with President Trump on Sunday morning our time and the President committed to honor the refugee resettlement deal that had been made by his predecessor Barack Obama," Turnbull told the radio station. This stands in direct contrast to the Washington Post story, which portrayed a much more contentious conversation with the PM. So who's telling the truth? It's obviously not the mainstream media, if Turnbull's own words are to be believed. Here's where things get interesting. Instead of calling the telephone call rife with contention, Turnbull described the conversation as being direct and to the point. Turnbull even went so far as to chastise the mainstream media for its clearly biased reporting. As far as the call is concerned, I'm very disappointed that there has been a leak of purported details of the call in Washington, but I want to make one observation about it," Turnbull said adding. The report that the president hung up is not correct. The call ended courteously. Wait. What? Do you mean to tell us, President Turnbull, that this teamed reporting of Washington Post reporters Miller and Rucker were a disappointment to you? Amazing. Even you noticed it Mr. Prime Minister. For such an admission, we sincerely thank you. We've believed for some time that the mainstream media often makes a habit of lying to the American people and you've once again confirmed it for us. After all, one has to be suspicious of new stories which take two dishonest reporters to write, as if one is not enough. 
Going further, when asked about the nature of the conversation Turnbull concluded, as far as the nature of the discussion, it was very frank and forthright and also said it was courteous. There's a lot of talk around about the call allegedly from people that were not party to it, he said adding, these calls generally remain, naturally, completely confidential. Yes. That's right. Only Trump and Turnbull know what was really said. So we at the Free Thought Project, in the interest of journalistic integrity, and to combat the so-called proliferation of fake news we now have a message for Miller and Rucker. Get it right or get out of the journalism business, you're ruining it. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.